Right then, I'm up in Savanac Forest today. It's one of my favourite local places to go and have a ride. I hope you enjoy it. Morning. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I think we're heading down Gray's Road now. Whoops. A wind chill slapping you in the face. It's brilliant when it's been snowing and frosty. Everything's hard. You have to spend an hour cleaning your bike up after. Then come back covered in mud. Perfect conditions, except for maybe the ice cold wind. It's quite quiet today. I suppose it's Monday, but and freezing. But as you can imagine, this place gets incredibly busy at the weekends, especially with people not being able to travel further afield. Heading down towards Grand Avenue, where we'll turn right and head a little further into the wood. Right, so just heading south down the Grand Avenue. And we're going to reach eight walks shortly. In the summer, I would head straight down 12 o'clock Avenue, which is that one there, down there. But it's extremely muddy in the winter, it's a quagmire, so I think I'm going to take this one, which is I'm not too sure. I think it's called Pigsty something. Could be wrong. A bit more interesting than that one. Which is just a very smooth forest track. Good morning. How's it going? How's it going? No, not that friendly. Okay, right. Yeah, this track's just slightly more interesting than that one over there. But not as muddy as that one. Not that it would make much difference today, because everything's frozen solid, but... Hey ho. Oh, that sound. Really satisfying sound. Crunchy mud and the new tyres. That is great. All right, we're just heading down towards a track called Charcoal. Burners Lane, something like that. 
and then turn left and head towards the monument at the southern end of Salamat Forest and uh, on the way we pass an old World War II building Just at the top of here it is the remains of the area there. Just down. So I believe this is where they stored ammunition. I could definitely be wrong about that. <clears throat> this road's called Three Oaks Drive, and it's one of the features of the woods. Monument. thing. Yeah, it's a good feature of the forest. If you know Salmonac, you've not come to visit the Aylesbury Column, you should. A bit of single track running through here. Ordinarily, I'd avoid because it's been so muddy, but with it being frosty today, well, it's got a bit muddy. We'll give it a go. She's still quite boggy. Very boggy. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Still too boggy. No joy. Getting back on to. Oh, actually. Yeah, three oaks drive. Right, we're crossing back over the Grand Avenue now. And heading towards what well, was an oak tree and a pond. The forest is filled with these named oak trees. And there's a few down here. There's Duke's Vaunt. There's the King of Limbs. And there's Crockmore Oak. And there's a pond. Also called Crockmore Pond. I'm heading towards there now. So according to the OS map, there's a Roman road that comes along here and you can see the earthworks of it and down there's a good bit of single track so we'll try that out later okay so here's Crockmore Hope up ahead and there's a the pond So 
It's my favourite part of the forest, I think. It's even starting to snow again. Oh yeah, okay, here's Pop more oak, one of the named oak trees in the forest. I think there's about ten. Getting a bit of light snow. So one of the named oak trees is called Duke's Vaunt, and it's literally right in the middle over there. And it's a pain to kind of hack through the, the forest to get to. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at that today. Basically a big loop come back this way. I'll stop. And we head back to the main forest. Let's go and look at this tree. Another one of those. Another one of the named oak trees. Crazy thing though. Definitely earns its name, the King of Limbs. Right, this is another fun bit of single track. So we're coming back to eight walks, centre of the woods, and I'm going to head down here because there's one final fun section of single track before we head back up to Polson Hill Car Park. forestry work going on in the woods today. I thought they were motorbikes but I'm fairly sure now what I was hearing was chainsaws. Right, just turn on down that Amity Road Drive, whatever it is. It's a forest trap. And there is Amity Oak. most interesting but there we go obviously has some significance
I usually miss this track on the left, but quite well marked today with the snow. Boggy below the surface. Oh, this has collapsed since I last came. Just got to go straight through there. Third the bottom, last time I came through here, it was so muddy, came home caked, so I'm hoping it won't be quite as bad, given the fact it's minus two. Really solid ground, considering that section. A while back I thought it was going to be hard, turned out to still be quite boggy, at the moment this is alright. Usually this is virtually impassable, but not bad today, make the most of the cold weather has its advantages. Sorry, I'm just passing on your left. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bell's <laughs> broken. <laughs> there you go, Dad. I'm gonna be delighted by that. Bell's sheared off. Looks good. Clearly not overly practical. Instead of losing height down the main road, thought I'd uh, take this slightly more interesting route. Well, actually, again, that's going to probably be quite foggy. Yeah. 